back again with the squidgy, adorable, just a harmless slime, Rimuru. And of course there's been a small addition to his entourage, and I can only imagine that there's going to be an envoy from the lizard men coming soon. And yes, it completely took me by surprise when it was mentioned in the comments that the voice of the lizard guy was indeed... Hi hi, Tasmodus. And I was so shocked I actually went back and rewatched a little section of it and I had no reasons as to why I shouldn't have noticed that. But since the lizard men are making their way around the forest, it's only a matter of time, so let's see how that conversation goes down. We've seen that um, Rimuru decided to change his appearance slightly to see what is capable of, like a uh, adult version, male and female. Does that mean that there are um, potential like subterfuge versions where you can go incognito? But yeah, the the danger from the masked magi is ever present, especially with the orcs now destroying ogre villages. The lizardmen are going to go a few ways. Either Rimuru is going to take them under his protection, like he did with everyone else, or their kingdom is as developed as the dwarven one, so they'll have a like a, a neighbour ally, or they'll get wiped out. Hmm. So they've now gained access to silk. So we've had the craftsmen in the dwarves, and now we've got the artisans in the case of the princess. And why does, um, ah, okay. It looked like Shion didn't have any eyes. Yeah, Shion. Fair enough. And the fact that, sh oh. The battle of supremacy over who gets to care for Rimuru. I, I, I can't do that. Can Rimuru split his body? If she's going to let go of him, he's going to snap back together. Oh no, we've seen this before. Good thing that he doesn't have any taste buds in his slime form. Or maybe, or maybe it's so bad that it will even affect him. That would be useful to have. <laughs> I 
They actually broke out in cold sweat. I still don't understand how anyone's cooking can be that bad. And why is it always goopy purple? Yep. Oh, he just... <laughs> he's still sat there, he's just completely gone. Ah, oh, Gobter! Just in time! Can he turn just his mouth and tongue? It's alive? Can, yeah, can you relax the mimicry of his tongue so that he won't be able to taste it? No, you don't need to. <laughs> you will not die. You might have to follow, though, that my advice. Oh, copter. Did he put the spoon in the right angle? Did you just kill Gopter? <laughs> Revive him now. Ha <laughs> You will be missed, Gobta. His sacrifice will not go in vain. Hmm. True, in the face of a greater enemy. Not a bad force. How big is the forest to be able to have that many inhabitants in random villages? <sighs> Inflating his ego. Why is it the last one they go to? How good is their information? It might be quite old at this point. Kind of sound thinking so far, if he is the leader. The mount is clapping as well. The fact that he's actually got someone to talk to about all of this outside of his brothers and whatnot is quite good. Hmm. And are you gaining anything from this conversation, Ramuru? I've actually watched quite a few videos on forging and blacksmithing. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to leave.
It was an envoy. Envoy. Envoy? Having a council with him might be good if they're in uh, negotiations. Making a grand entrance, I see. And what will happen when um, Rimuru goes into his human form? Where's the light coming from? Ah! I can only despair if someone with this pomposity will be a leader. <laughs> Good thing he's got physical resistance. I mean, being a lizard, then I'm sure he's enjoying all of the heat being reflected from the shields. You've made yourself quite foolish. Wow. <laughs> it would be... Mm, it would be beneficial to have others on your side during a fight. It also seems like he would uh, flee as soon as the tides start turning. <laughs> that would make discussions very hard. That's how you make an entrance. Not with a fanfare. He can uh, change his size. Hmm. Well, he's the soon-to-be, well, king. Oh. The, um... They're almost fanatical in their devotion to Rimuru, so I don't see this going well. Yeah, you're not smart, are you? Do you not think that there is uh, a reason why those as strong as the wolves are under his command? 
Oh, thank God. Breaking the tension with Gobta. Well done, Gobta. Gobta's basically the Jesus of goblins. He rose from the dead. <laughs> Hmm. Not having to fight a slime, but having to fight a hobgoblin, essentially. But Gobter is actually stronger than he looks. Hmm. Yeah, that would motivate him. And that's probably a bigger motivation! But if nothing else was going to get him ready to fight. <laughs> I've got, you just have to love whenever there's a uh, Dragon Ball reference. He threw his weapon. Wow, he's got shadow step and stuff. Oh, that's quite a long scream. <laughs> he's been training himself. If the wolves can move through the shadows. Well done! You don't have to eat her cuckoo. And I, I guess there's also a weapon in it, so... <laughs> well, learn to cook, then. He... we have seen him training in the background and whatnot, so... Yeah. Are we going to have some sort of... The hell is going on? <laughs> You've got to fear the silent guy in the background. The quiet ones are the ones that you have to take care of. Silently uh, confident. <laughs> if you want a regal, then f fine, but I think the lesson has been taught so far. Even with their amassed strength, I, don't, I think it was just a numbers game with the amount of orcs that is being shown. Yeah. Oh, how far back does that go? Hmm. And they only managed to gather, what, 7,000 goblins? Is this where Rimuru goes to war? So they've either got to have some sort of motivation behind it, such as food, 
or there's someone pulling the strings. Ah, Rumoru sits like I do. Knees up on the table and whatnot. Hmm. That's probably the one that was in the desert that we saw at the beginning of it all. Hmm. Who are you? And... But if it was for him to react like this... I don't think it would be wise to reject this offer of meeting a dryad. Oh, that was fast. It's quite good that you have the um, ability to grow out of the table. The wood's not completely dead then. It's good that the Dryads have uh, at least done a cursory level of information gathering about Rimuru, unlike the Lizardmen. Save the forest. Fair, but what do you offer in return? This kind of request would require reward, no? As altruistic as Rimuru is, there's only so much that he can do. But also, defeating the Orc Lord is in his own interests, so it just happens to coincide. I hope that the um, lizard men haven't. I hope he doesn't try to start a feud with Rimuru over what happened now. They've got bigger things to worry about at the minute, haven't they? Or if the king is going to uh, reprimand him for what he was doing. Jikai. And there we have an interesting episode. A first meeting, a looming dread, and a request from an unexpected arrival. Things have come far since he was milling around in the cave, not being able to see his surroundings. And as strong as Rimuru is, even with the dragon's backing, how is he compared to a demon lord? And when it's not just a one-on-one -on -one fight, when there is a literal war on the horizon, 200,000 orcs. It's going to be fun to see how Rimuru tries to handle that, isn't it? And if you're excited, make sure you let me know down below in the comment section, and also by liking the video. Your engagement really helps me out. And more than ever, 
I really do want to say that during these kind of trying times, the world is on fire, but we can still have fun, can't we? And so today I'm going to leave it a bit short, but make sure all of you out there stay safe, get some rest, so that I can see you in the next one. And it's at times like these that I really do want to thank every one of you for watching along, especially my Patreons, because without them, well, I'd just be some moron rambling on the internet. So to Flor Taku, Sal, Raywin, Denimet1997, Joeys, Luis Almanza, and Torin Rogue, and all the others. Truly. Thank you.